When I was in third grade, I was molested by a group of boys and an adult man that I should have been able to trust. Our daughter revealed a few things that had happened that, that these boys had done. There was a group of boys that would hold my daughter down on, and they would assault her viciously. They held scissors or a knife to her throat. I was molested by a group of boys and separately during the same time period by an adult. It went on for quite some time. The adult man that molested me told me if I told anybody about what happened that he would kill my family, kill my friends, kill my pets. A short time later, my best friend Penny went missing. We found out years later, my friend Penny was murdered by a serial killer. Jack Spillman was arrested for killing a woman and her daughter. And as it turned out, he confessed to killing Penny Davis as well. My husband, Fred, and I were contacted by a detective who told us Crystal was the original target. He had confessed that he had initially been after me, but I got sick the night I was supposed to go over there. I do feel like it was my fault. Crystal had nightmares as a child after her attack and still has nightmares to this day. She's been relying on the fact that she is a victim and it was a horrendous thing that was done to her. But it's 27 years later and it's time for her to, to heal. Well, it's past time for her to heal, but that's a lot easier said than done, right? Absolutely. So what does an eight-year-old eight -year girl say to herself when she gets home after something like that happens? I never felt safe again after that. This left injuries. Right. This left scars. Yes. What do you say to yourself? I'm dirty. Um, I use no one will ever love me. Um, unclean. I still, to this day, view my body parts um, or my private areas as unviewable or untouchable. Um, to be intimate is wrong. It's a dirty thing. I'm not even comfortable with myself as a person. I'm uncomfortable in my own body. It is hard for me to even begin to describe the home I'm about to show you. There's mouse feces all over the stove. And it gets worse. If I saw the situation my daughter and grandson are living in, I would arrest her. I've been trying. That child will never sleep another night in that house. All new Dr. Phil.